Now, I'm not the biggest X-Men fan out there. There was actually a time, a decent stretch of time, where I wasn't even reading comic books at all. But I read enough X-Men stories to know a little bit of something about Magneto. Now, I will definitely concede to a lot of you guys who probably read more X-Men than me. But when I tell you that Magneto kills these people in a way that I have never seen before, I mean, I have never seen before. And I hate to say it, but it is fantastic. My name is Dorian. This is SEM Comics. We are continuing our coverage of the fall of the House of X. And we are concluding our coverage of the resurrection of Magneto with number four. So our story starts off with Magneto in a Orcus Gulag. And he has three helmets, a white helmet, a black helmet, and a red helmet. And he's considering which one he should put on as he stopping the bullets that Orcus is shooting at him. They're shooting metal bullets at the Master of Magnetism. Which normally I would say, oh, that's dumb, but what the hell else are they going to do? I mean, they got to defend themselves, right? So the black helmet, I guess, represents the very old Magneto, you know, the real angry one. The white one is him more or less as he was at Krakoa. And then the red one's kind of like an in-between of both. Now, he's using these helmets since he can't decide which one to put on. He almost beat up these Orcus agents. Like, he's literally like throwing these helmets around and hitting them with it. And he hit the one Orcus agent with the helmet in the face. And he's like, look, see, I didn't even break his jaw. That's progress. But then he quickly realizes that progress isn't really getting him anywhere. So he takes his big heavy door and slams it into that same Orcus agent. So now he got more than a broken jaw. And then he takes the guns away from the other Orcus agents. And he turns it to him just like he did in the movie. And he's like, so what do I do? Do I take him out or do I be lenient on him? And then he just takes the guns, turns around and then buck strokes the hell out of both of them. Now, before that dude got slammed by the door, he was talking about how they was calling in Squad Zero and how it was going to be over for Magneto. So they actually just show up and they just kind of materialize. So, you know, there's something a little different about these guys. Now, Magneto was like, eh, I'm going to hold off attacking them because like I said, there's something different about them. And plus also to their bad guys. What do bad guys always do? They always start to talk and they literally tell what advantage they have over the hero. So now the hero knows how to counteract it. I mean, it's, it's stupid. So one of them's like, come on, Magneto, attack us. Magneto's like, nah, I'll hold off. And he pulls in his force field tighter and the dude shoots at him and the force field barely stops the bullet. So again, there's something different about these guys. So then the dude starts saying, come on, you're supposed to be our new God. Smite me, strike me down. And then he starts blabbing his whole scheme, how their suits are electrically wired to that if Magneto attacks them, then it will release a nerve gas and start killing the prisoners that are in there, which are mutants. So some of these mutants, they're, they're watching the whole thing goes down and they start freaking out saying, oh my God, but there's one mutant that's in there. It's like, nah, it's going to be okay. That's Magneto and he's back. So then as he's thinking about it again, he has the three helmets, the black helmets where he used to be where he would have killed these men in the moment's notice and not even worry about it. The white helmet is when he was with Charles and he kind of got away from killing. The red helmet, he's sitting there, he's like, but these are hypotheticals. When all boils down to it, I just need to do this my way. So it's like, there's no time for finesse. It'll be too slow. He just has to react. <laughs> Let me read what it says. There is a sudden sound of every metal component inside the suit, every wire, every circuit rushing down into five small dense cores process ignores the five bodies inside the suits sounds wet i've seen this man kill a lot of people in a lot of different ways but this one this one takes the cake i mean he turned them into spears with their suit i mean the blood's just dripping down it is gruesome and I loved it. I'm not going to lie. I loved every minute. I was at work. I was like, oh, my God. And I, I wanted to tell somebody about it. But 
no bad work reads comics. Then he starts freeing all the mutants and they start cheering and chanting his name and he's like, can't feed into it. Like he's trying to walk a line where he doesn't get too good to where he becomes weak. But he's also not trying to be too bad where, you know, he's like a mass murderer. You know, he took out those five guys, but he killed five to save a thousand. You got to do the math. So he gets the free mutants and the Orcus agents that are still alive up to the top of the Gulag, which is in the middle of the ocean and Blue Marvel and Storm is waiting on him. So Storm is like, is that everyone? And Magneto goes, everyone who survived. The look that Storm is giving Magneto. My mom used to give him this look and it used to scare the bejesus out of me. Like, let me just give a little bit of advice, you know. I'm up here in age, so hopefully I can help you young guys out. If your girlfriend or wife gives you that look, just apologize. Don't, 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 don't try to fight. Just apologize. Like, Magneto's looking at her and he had to be in his head like, It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. So then Blue Marvel finally breaks attention and goes, Evacuation complete. I'll go ahead and I'll strip mine all the data systems. Would you guys like to do the pleasure? So Magneto's like, oh, I got this. And he turns that gulag into scrap metal in seconds. I mean, no time at all. And as soon as he did it, all you hear is mutant detected. And there's a Stark Sentinel headed right for him. So the Blue Marvel is like a Stark Sentinel, the most advanced mutant killer yet. Another job well done, Tony. So the Magneto's looking at Blue Marvel. He's thinking to himself, huh, you don't trust the Avengers either, huh? And that, we have a lot in common. But then even Magneto is like, but this isn't Tony's fault. They pretty much took everything, including his name, and turned it into this. So, again, that wasn't Tony's fault. So, this is the first time that Storm is fighting a Stark Sentinel. And she's like, oh, it's not ready for me. And she hits him with all kinds of lightning. He took it and goes, no, we do got countermeasures. <laughs> and he deploys like these Sonics that pretty much hit Storm and she is pretty much out of commission. Because even Magneto's like, she might be on mega level mutant, but she has human ears. So then Blue Marvel comes in and is like, you don't got no countermeasures for me because I'm not a mutant. And the Stark Sentinel goes, assumption false. Human mutate detected, Adam Brashear deploying countermeasures and hits him with a blast. And Blue Marvel's like, damn it, that's neutronium radiation, which I guess affects Blue Marvel. So it hurt slowed him down but it didn't stop him and he was still able to hit the Stark Sentinel with a blast so then Magneto is sitting there and he all of a sudden hears people screaming that hey it's Magneto he's alive and it's these reporters and they're in his ship so then the Stark Sentinel sees him and goes unauthorized humans detected preparing countermeasures and the reporters are like hold on time they're not supposed to attack us they're not allowed to and Magneto's like huh, they can rewrite anything so he gets right to it. He starts getting all this scrap metal from the Orcus Gulag together and makes two big old fists and goes at the Stark Sentinel. So he starts hammering away at the Stark Sentinel, which gives Storm enough time to recover from that sonic blast. So then the Stark Sentinel tries to do the sonic blast again, but Blue Marvel neutralizes it with his power. So the Magneto takes two metal rods. He goes to Blue Marvel and Storm and goes, I want to try this. Storm's like, this can kill you. And he's like, eh, that's fine. I'm not scared of death. You should know that by now. But this time, we're going to make sure that you're okay because Blue Marvel, while Storm feeds into Magneto, Blue Marvel is going to feed into Storm. And then Magneto thinks to himself, humans and mutants working together. If only Charles could see this. So then he gets supercharged and he just starts hitting the Sentinel. I mean, hitting them and hitting them. He said them like Manny Pacquiao. The punches are coming from everywhere. So he hits him until there's a crack in the like Sentinel's face and then Storm and Blue Marble uses their power, sends a blast right to that crack and pretty much explodes the Sentinel. So then Magneto's like, huh, there was some metal in there. And he grabs it with his power and he goes, I'll analyze it and maybe we can bring down that Sentinel a little bit easier next time. Blue Marble's like, well, we need to get these people out of here because if we have trouble with one, we're probably going to have a whole lot of trouble with five and they're probably sending five here right now. So the Storm's like, oh, my head. And Magneto's like, you okay? And Storm's like, it's Emma. She's been trying to talk to you, but you got your helmet on. She wants you to rescue her husband if you wouldn't mind. And Magneto goes, I wouldn't mind at all. Because to save one life 
is to save the world, my teacher used to say. So now, unfortunately, this is where this story ends, but it continues in Iron Man number 18. I haven't been covering Iron Man, so now you know we're gonna have to pick up Iron Man number 18. So then you know we're gonna have to backtrack and cover all of Iron Man, which we're doing with all of um, of X-Men Red, and we're doing the same thing with Immortal X-Men. We covered eight books of it. We're gonna cover the rest of them too. So all that's gonna happen. Cause I want you guys to have a complete playlist of all this stuff. So yes, Magneto, Resurrection Magneto's over, but we're gonna continue this in Iron Man number 18. <laughs>